Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have got um, an unboxing for you. Um, this is from The Real Shining Store and well I actually I think this is from The Real Shining Store because I had a delivery of another painting today um, so I'm not entirely sure if this is Real Shining but I'm guessing that you will know for sure what story it is from by the title of the uh, the video um, but I'm going to go with it and say this is from The Real Shining Store um, this was a painting that I ordered on the 31st of December and it was delivered to me originally on the 11th of January um, but the delivery was rescheduled um, for today which is the 19th of January um, because I wasn't at home to accept the delivery so overall it took 11 days to get to me so I'm going to unbox this um, I do think this is from the Real Shining store So it's in its typical packaging as uh, most diamond paintings are with this like bin liner type thing and the cellar tape. I have ordered a painting from Real Shining Store before. And I never had any problems previously with um, with their painting, so I thought I would give them another shot. And they're not that expensive either. I think this is a 40 by 30. Let me just double check. I think it's a 40 by 30. Um, no, it's a 40 by 40. Um, and it's the Sugar Skulls diamond painting. And it cost £12.07 which I didn't think was that bad of a price. I've wanted one of the Sugar Skulls designs for quite a while. So when I saw this, actually I should have waited and ordered this in the in the sale, but never mind. Um, so the box seems okay. It's a little bit, um, looks like it's had a bit of an impact at some point during its journey on the top of the box. But as long as the contents inside are okay, then it should all be good. So first of all, we've got the toolkit as we normally do have. We've got the green boat with a cutout but no spout, um, a standard pink pen with no multi-tip places, some metal tweezers and about four or five little Ziploc bags. And I think the drills, I'll pull it all out. Okay, I think everything, I've gotten everything at the box. So the inside of the box looked a little bit strange, almost like there was something in the box that shouldn't have been, but I think it's just where the, uh, where the packaging has worn a little bit. So here's the canvas. And there are the drills which we'll take a look at in just a second. Actually, I could actually show you what the painting is going to look like. I don't have my autofocus on, so hopefully you can work out, okay, what the image is gonna be. So that is the sugar skulls. I'll show you a little bit better when I've taken it out of the plastic bag. Um, it does seem like they've all got check marks next to them. Sorry for the rustling. Okay, so here is the check marks. Looks like everyone has been checked off, but I will do a manual inventory as well. But there's another look at the image itself. Again, this is a 40 by 40 by Real Shiny. I think the last painting that I had from Real Shiny was um, a painting, I think it was an Alice in Wonderland painting. Um, there is some three tens in here. There are some, no, there's just three tens. There's no nine three nines. Okay, so we'll have another look at the drills and the inventory sheet in just a minute. Let's have a look at the canvas. So this is a 40 by 40 and it looks, it's a very manageable size. Um, it does look like there's a bit of a crease going straight the way through here, but I think that is more to do with the actual cover sheet. And it looks a little bit wrinkled on the back here. I don't know if you can see that. It does look a little bit wrinkled. 
but I think if we lie it out flat it will uh, that will sort itself out so let's have a quick look at the drill field then canvas feels nice it's got a nice cut to it as well so that's good okay and it peels back nice and it's in two separate sections so it's in two halves I'm going to try not to rip it because I normally I have a habit of ripping them even when I try to go very slowly now you can see there already I can see where some of the glue has tried to lift a little bit and it's just creased I'm not sure I think I'll be able to get that out though I'll just get the exacto knife on it and flatten it out okay so there is the bottom half of it or well, one part of the bottom half one half of the bottom half <laughs> and there is just a, a bit of a close-up to the drill field does look nice and clear the symbols look nice and clear as well and this is a square by the looks of it looking at the drill field it does look like it's square let's have a look across the top I don't know if you can see at the bottom here where if I just angle it in a certain light you might just be able to pick it up where there's like a little bit of um, where the glue has raised and it's bubbled a little bit it is very sticky though but I'll get the um, I'll get the exacto knife on it and I'll get that all flattened out let's check the top end no it's lifting up the glue on that side let's try this again give it a rub That's better okay try not to rip it trying really hard not to rip the top half looks better than the bottom half does that wasn't a rip it's just where it's catching on the bottom part so there is the one half of it then that looks that looks really nice actually I like the colors very pretty colors so there's the bottom one half get it all flattened out and straightened back out okay and then we'll just check this side give it a rub just in case try not to rip it there we go okay this looks much better on this side although I can just see a little bit more of where the glue has raised just there in the middle again that's minimal I should be able to get rid of that easy enough and um, there is a bit of overlap with the glue the actual glue comes to about here where my finger is so it it does extend past the actual drill field more than what most paintings that I've got do but with some washi tape down it shouldn't be a problem but it was something that I've, I've just noticed so I thought I'd mention it um, the symbols are actually covered up with part of the drill the, um, the cover sheet so you can't actually see what the symbols are unless you've got this cover peeled back but the top half looks really good so it's just this bottom section here that I need to to flatten the glue out a little bit but apart from that the canvas looks really nice I think that's going to look as I say with every single one of my diamond paintings I think this is going to look awesome when it's complete so there we go there's the sugar skulls I think that's pretty pretty neat I like it um, there is the drill the the legend across the side it's a combination of letters a few numbers and just a few symbols like the question mark the and symbol the rest are all letters of the alphabet and numbers so that's pretty easy if I remember correctly I think the I think it was an Alice in Wonderland that I had before um, I think that had similar symbols 
Okay, so there is the canvas. That's all good. So I'm happy with the canvas. And we'll have a quick look at the drills. Now, there are, I'm not sure how many colours there are. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 colours. So I will write down on here that there's 35 colours and we can quickly just check through. I'm going to turn this over. So there's 35 colours. We'll have a quick look at the drills. This is a square. If I didn't mention that already, I think I did. And the drills, they look in pretty good condition as well. So just to recap, this is from Drill Shining on AliExpress. So if we do quick inventory then, because I didn't do an inventory on my last one, so we'll do one on this one. So I'm going to put a check mark that way across. So we've got the 350s. Um, that's a little bit difficult to see. I like it when they, they pack their drills and they put the DMC code in a different colour. So like with this being such a dark colour, it would be nice if it was in a, like in white to make it a little bit easier to see but that is DMC 154 can just make it out so there's two bags of that so we have all of those some nice oranges this is um like very like pumpkin orange one two three four five six seven of seven two eight yep more orange seven four three one two three four five six seven seven four three and remember guys if you don't want to see the um the inventory being done then please feel free to skip forward through the video a little bit more i know not everybody likes to see the inventory being done on the video and this is eight two i'm going to leave that because i can't actually see it it's so dark some nice lime green. This is a nice colour green. 704. So we've got three bags of those. Wow, some really vibrant orange. 741. We have four of. Some nice pinks. 718. Three of. 745 this is like a like a peach 7454 now these must be 890 all right let's have a look 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 of 890 yep 3746, one little bag of lilac. Ooh, this is a nice colour. This is like a turquoisey type of, like a baby blue actually. It's eight, two, seven, uh, four bags. Yep. And we've got 340, one bag. 3354. Two bags. We have eight oh seven. One, two, three, four, five, six of eight oh seven. Nine seven seven three. Five five zero. That's a lovely colour purple. That is a really deep purple. That's very nice. I like that. Five five oh two. Now, when I've used this colour before in other paintings, it's almost looked black, but it actually, you can actually see how vibrant this colour is. It's a very dark purple. Until today, I actually thought that was a really dark coloured, like very dark blue, black. 3607, we have three of. 
These are the three tens, of course they are, because it's the one with the 10 million bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, three tens. Four, one, three, two bags. 702, we've got five of. Um, 36083. It's looking good so far. 3804, four of. 832, two of. 3609, three of. There's some very bright colours in this. I do like this selection of colours. It's very nice. Um, 3721, two of. What do we have here 647, two of. This is like a, a spearmint colour. 564, three of. 471, one of. 3806, four of. Do we have 936? Yeah, 936, two of. 3847, three of. 797, two of. Oh, lime, lime colour, 907, 2, and we have 3865, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, of 3865, and that means we should have one left over, which should be 158. It says eight two three. Hmm. All right, eight two three. Yes, we got it. I was reading out the quantity, not the DMC. So yeah, we have we have all the colours. So everything is pr all present and correct. So I've put a check mark the opposite way on each on each um, symbol. So we have all the colours. So there's 35 different colours all together and everything is all there present and correct. So apart from, there doesn't seem like there's any loose drills. There's nothing inside the bag. Nothing was falling out or looked like it was splitting open when I was checking the drills. The drills do actually look in very good condition. There doesn't seem to be any trash in there from what I can see. Um, so it does look good at the minute. There doesn't seem any to be any like indentations as there has been in some Huracan square draw paintings I've, I've seen previously. There is no little like dimples in the underside of the drills. So that's reassuring as well. Um, the canvas is good apart from a little bit of um, bubbling on the bottom half of the painting but that's easily remedied I can get rid of that with an exacto knife so that's no issue at all all the drills are all there all present and correct there's no odd smells oops sorry there doesn't seem there's no actual odor coming from the bag or anything like that sometimes you can get a, a pretty nasty smell um, we just got the basic toolkit but that's okay because you know I use my own um, own pens anyway so that's all good so overall guys I would recommend real shining as I have bought a painting from them before I thought I would give them another try and I am not disappointed everything seems just as it should be so I would recommend this seller so I will put a link to the painting on AliExpress if you would like to have a look for yourself if you would like to buy this painting for yourself or even buy a bigger size um, or a smaller size whichever I think there are a lot of variation in um, size options um, so yeah 
11 days in total to get delivered, cost £12, pretty cheap, so 11 days to get from China to the UK over the Christmas period, New Year period, I thought was, um, was pretty quick. So that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please, please do give this video a thumbs up and um, please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you ring the bell and then that way you will get notified next time I post a video or I do a live. Um, so thank you for watching and happy diamond painting and I'll see you all again next time. Take care guys. Bye.